Hey folks, this is a very specific implementation for a particular query from one of my subscribers this afternoon and, and, and this portrays a solution to that, uh, that particular question. So what I have here in this blog is, uh, it says that we have a server, a server A which hosts uh, a table of a particular schema and it has actually multiple tables of the same schema and that needs to be loaded on us on a second server or destination server to the target database so what I have here quickly is uh, I have here three tables whose, whose name is uh, and schema I mean which has data of similar type and the schema is similar so basically what you see here is employee A, B, C these are all three hypothetical tables but today we are trying to load three tables and, and tomorrow the name of these tables might differ as well as the number of tables might differ which um, by which I mean today we have a EMP A, B and C tomorrow we might have A, B, C, D, E so we do not know what is the number of tables that is going to uh, going to be there at our source and also uh, the, the naming convention uh, we, just, we, we just know is that employee table would have EMP as the starting string characters uh, as their name so that is the convention that the naming would look like and I have to absorb this into my production database which is the target and, and, and the, into the employee table so the employee table hosts currently one record and we need to sync this up uh, with respect to all the three tables that we currently have so we have to design this uh, solution in SSIS now what I have here is uh, I mean the viewer did not have uh, access to link server or, or any remote connections or also BCP and or uh, open row query sets so basically these options were not available so how how without these options can we load this data into our destination that is when the naming conventions the name of the tables are not fixed as well as the number of tables are not fixed so let's quickly try to race against time and implement this as, as soon as possible and I really hope ma'am I help you out with this so what I do here is I create the same table with, with the name staging load which has the schema of the order of the employee tables and of, of, the, of, of the source employee tables so and then so the table looks like currently it looks it is it is empty I mean let's truncate this table first and it is an empty table for us so it just has the schema of uh, that of AMP, A, B and C and also the target so now let's let's start to bring up the SSIS package so let's see how fast we can do that I'll try my best to race and put this on now I call this data load or let's call it leave it I, I'll just leave this name as is and let's uh, try to add first of all let me try to add two variables to this that is where obj and this would be of object type that's all let's add again another table uh, another variable table name so I call it of string type so I'm done with the variables I try to pull out a SQL task and in this SQL task before that let me try to create two connection managers I try to create the source DB this is my source I call it the source and then I create one more to my destination so or target database so this is the target and I call it target so I create two and both of them mind you are, are different servers so if you see both of them are different servers cool so now I connect to my source and what I do here is I want the full result set and then I put the query to identify and pull out all the tables so this is the query to pull out all the tables which start with EMP string so I push that in 
and then let me map this result set to my object variable so this is where object is, is, is of object type next what I do here is I pull out the for each loop and in the for each loop I use the ADO enumerator so this would be my source of where object and then I will map it to my table name so I'm mapping again uh, let me re reiterate this I'm mapping the object variable to the table name so each time it rate it, it, it rates it passes the value from the object variable to the table variable that's all now let next what I do here is uh, okay okay I add on a SQL task to the source and then I take the table name as an input so this is the table name let's call it a varchar type and then what I do here is put a zero that's all so let's try to put in the SQL statement so what this SQL statement would do is I'm creating a dynamic SQL so that each time this this variable iterates and it passes on say this value first time becomes EMPA so this query would be something like like this so it will insert into staging for EMPA next time it will iterate for BC uh, so that's the prime motive so let's and for starters you are learning dynamic SQL and instead of print oops we have to say exec and we are done so we are mapping the input parameter that is a table name in here so that's all next what we do is let's create a data flow task and in the data flow task an OLEDB source and this source points to the source OLED, OLEDB connection and the table that it would point to is staging load that's all and we are done so next what we have here is let's put uh, an OLEDB destination yes yes quicker man okay now what we do here is we load it to the target or the destination that's our production table so EMP perfect and we are done so our package is ready and now what we see here is our destination contains only one record and when I run this package it's supposed to sync everything up and my staging load table also contains nothing so it contains nothing so it should loop, loop across these three tables and then populate my staging load and then eventually populate my production database table so I have not used any link server uh, open row set query or BCP I have not used any of them and I'm trying to load these tables into my production table and sync all these three tables up now let's try to see my staging load contains uh, the, the data from two uh, BC ABC tables and my production table looks like this so keep playing with servers, database and tables, keep watching and keep learning, see ya.